Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is setting on Windows 11 build 22543. As always, these changes are not tied to a specific release of Windows 11, but many of these are expected to arrive in the next feature update, and some may even arrive before the next release. Okay, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 22543. In this release, Microsoft is updating the media controls that appears in the lock screen for supported apps using the design that we're now seeing across Windows 11. So now when you lock the computer and you have music playing on a supported app, you will see an interface to control the music as the one you see right here. Windows 11 build 22543 also tweaks the visual effects when resizing apps that are using snap layouts. So if you're using snap layouts, as you can see right here, when you now try to resize, you're now going to see the icons for the apps on top of the acrylic background. As part of the uh, setting sub changes, Windows 11 build 22543 introduces new design changes for the storage spaces and disk and volume settings to align with the new design that we're seeing across the operating system. So this is how the storage spaces page looks like. I have already configured a storage pool and this is how the new layout looks like. You still have all the same option. It just looks a little bit different with new iconography, which you can also see it throughout some of the pages across the settings app. And let me just step back for a second. And if we go to settings, you will see the focus assist has a new icon. If I switch to another computer, you will see that focus assist is using a different icon. This is the stable version of Windows 11. Let me just jump one more time into storage spaces to show you a little bit how the layout looks like. So we got the rename option right there and you can add in space but the layout is still the same as before, which was already updated. If you go to the properties page, everything is still the same because this one, again, was already updated. And now let's jump into the disks and volumes page where you're going to see a similar layout as in storage spaces. So basically this is the new layout, but if you go to properties, everything is still the same as before because it was already updated. Also, in this release, Windows 11 introduces natural voices for Narrator. According to the company, these more natural voices enable Narrator users to enjoy scenarios like browsing the web, reading, authoring emails, and more. These new voices use modern on-device text-to-speech, and once downloaded, they are supported without an internet connection. Natural Narrator voices are available in US English. So these voices, you need to install them manually and there is two available and you need to open the accessibility section and then go to narrator. And then under the voice section, you will see a new add natural voices option. And here you will click the add button where you will select the voice that you want to use and then just, you can preview it. And then you can click the install button to get it installed. Finally, when doing a full upgrade, on Windows 11, the progress ring animation has been updated to align the new progressive ring animation, which is this one right here, instead of the circle of dots. And that's pretty much all the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 22543. However, this release also includes a tons of fixes and I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can learn more about them. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.